Hello and welcome back to Total Lunar Nights. In the last part, um, we met, beat Marissa, and then came into this library. And I'll be honest, I, I don't remember where I am. So, um, hopefully, I can figure that out at some point. There's a giant Frankenstein monster right there. That's not very good. I can like, I just, I just threw it. Uh, chainsaw. Yeah, that's the thing I can do. Right. Why do you take so many fucking hits, buddy? Reverse for danger. This is the fucking button. I don't even know why I'm- why did I come back up here? There's nothing over here. Right. I had stuff I wanted to talk about, but before I do that, I think I need to try to figure out where I'm even going anymore. Right, I came up here. What was the fucking point of coming over here? There's nothing else over there. Unless there was like a breakable wall. Is there a breakable wall? You know what? Oh. You, you could press escape to see the map at any time. I feel like an idiot. Um. Where can I go? I guess up? Can I, can I go up? Oh, go back. Try going up, I guess. Fucking up the buttons so often. Okay, I'll see if going up does anything. Great. Why not put a time paralysis enemy right next to an obstacle that I have to use time to even get past? Why not? And now it's gone again! Can I just get past this fucking thing, please? Nope, nope. I'm never actually going to get to what I want to talk about anyway. Like. Right, you have to go up there. Because now I have the power up that lets me go up there. That's that's what I do, okay? Man, these ghosts really do add nothing, no pain. They just annoy the shit out of me. microphone turned off during the test recording, but looks like it's on now, so it should be good. Yep, I'm just gonna wait, sit here, ten seconds, so I can have the time to do anything. Stop throwing. Uh, this is not a problem in any previous episode, but I just keep pressing the wrong button. Hey, now what? What's up here? Something. Something's over here. Yes, job. Enemy's kinda bullshit. Wow, well, it just doesn't fucking die. Bit. There we go. What is this? The amount of time that can be stopped has increased. Wow, that, that's really cool and all, but, uh... Don't even tell me where the hell I'm going. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's an opening over there. Okay. Down one to the left, all the way down and right. Can't... You have to press the A button next out of the menu. I'm not using that. Right, the thing I wanted to talk about. And if I can, I'll try to try to this, this conversation's going to, this uh, topic's going to take a really fucking long time to talk about, but it was something I thought I could talk about. And it's gonna it's gonna start out just how do I how do I keep fucking up the button? This has not happened before at any point, and now I just keep doing it. It's not S, it's A. A is what causes us die about anything else. Yes, this conversation. Probably should fire out pretty weird, but bear with me. This goes to the nice one. Okay, so, um. Uh, there was this website I went on when I was, I, was, I was a young kid. This way, right? It was called. Have I really not been in this room yet? Man, that fucker did a lot of damage for no fucking reason, didn't he? Wow! Give me time upgrades, but would help with HP upgrades. That'd be great. 
Yeah, that was it was called Lemmy's Land. It's named after the Mario character Lemmy Koopa because it was like a Mario fan website. I don't know if this website still exists, by the way, but it did at some point. And the, the notable thing about this website is that it, it had like people posting their Mario fan stuff, and I fell down, including like Mario fan fiction. And I guess the, the notable thing about that is that me reading fan fiction on this website was the first time I ever read any sort of fan fiction, so that's what this is what I wanted to talk about. It's random ass fan fiction I read. Back when I was younger, and I read fan fiction. I'm about to die, by the way, because Bubbles almost murders Akia because cause, cause why not? It's a patch. That's an enemy. Well, time to do everything I just did in the past five minutes again. What do you do? How exciting. I guess I can check if there's like anything on the wall. Nope. Right. All the way back to where the fuck I was earlier. I don't remember anything I just did. Really not a fan of this game's save system. Not even not even remotely. Whatever. So I guess. No. Wait for this to load because this is a very good enemy placement. So yeah. I guess the Remember when Five Nights at Freddy's came out? I remember at some point I read some Five Nights at Freddy's fan fiction. I don't really remember any of it, but the neat epic thing about it is that was like back when only the first two games were out, so nobody actually knew what was going on because I'm pretty sure Night Scott knew what the fuck the story was by that point. So you just kind of had like a bunch of fan fiction. Made up his own details, you know, it was neat to see what kind of people, what kind of things people would come up with back then, you know. It's much simpler back in those times, there's two FNAF games. And then, you know, getting back to Mario, you remember pa Pap Mario, the Thousand Year Door? I remember reading a specific fan fiction about that. Game. Yep! What a good enemy. All it does is fucking make me fall down. And you can't fucking kill it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maybe one day. Yeah, it just moves out of the way. Cool. The only way it can hit it. Oh, it just moves out of the way again. Wow. So, I can't hit it when time stopped, and I can't hit it when time isn't stopped, and it just moves out of my knives. So what the fuck is the point of this enemy other than annoying the shit out of me? Oh, I hit it that time. Why? Who the fuck knows not? Who the fuck knows why? Basically, I remember reading this one. Paper Mario with a Thousand Year Door fan fiction that was neat, because it was like a sequel to the game. And it basically went about how all the characters from that game, you know, Mario and the partners and Peach and all that, they, they were invited to like, an, to like a tropical resort island or something. And the story was them being in that island and doing stuff. And basically they had to, in like Paper Mario and Thousand Doors, your door, they had to go find some more MacGuffins because there was a new villain that showed up. And then to make a really long story short, um, it turned out that this villain you know how the, the end of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, the villain was the Shadow Queen? In this story, the villain was the Shadow King. Get it? That was that story. I really don't remember any of the details of the story, but... Uh, I remember reading it and thinking it was neat. This enemy sucks ass. Yeah, I was wondering if I killed killing that maid would make the bubble go away, and it did. Wow, how nice. Huh? I probably should, like, stop time more often. A lot of me getting hit has to be the fact that I'm not time like I should. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is Toho, so I guess getting into Toho, so, like, you know, eventually I did just stop reading fanfiction because I stopped. I don't know. I don't want to say grew out of it, but I sort of grew out of it, but. 
What the fuck is over here? HP! Oh my god, HP! It's a miracle. Maybe I won't die in two hits. Oh, he can just get up that. Okay, that, that's cool. Um, hopefully you can't get up that. If you can, then I'm kinda fucked. Yeah, but there was like a brief moment in time when I was getting into the mobile where I still read the beta fan picture before I stopped. So I did read some total fan fiction, but like not a lot. I don't really remember much. And there's only like two stories in particular that I remember reading. I don't remember what either of them are called. I don't know how easily it would be to find either of these, because these are like really old stories, because I read these in like 2015. Um, I hate this fucking bubble bear so much. Anyway. Yeah, I can just go over here and not deal with you. Yeah, this, okay, so this knight is gonna appear out of here, right? Because it's cool. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I didn't realize I was that close to dying. Wow, I'm fucking... Mm -hmm. I fucking love this game. I really do. I really do love this game. Never, never gonna get... I'm never gonna make any fucking progress, am I? I died in the exact same room, and I have to go back and do 20 fucking minutes of shit, because it's fucking cool. Because have your save points be 30 minutes of gameplay apart. And there goes fourth my HP bar, because I didn't even see that fucker guy. I'm at my limit here. I'm at my limit with this fucking game. I'll keep going with it. For some reason. I don't know, I started it. I don't want to just stop the series. I might! Holy fucking shit! Really? Entire room with all that shit after like 20 minutes of having to do- 10 minutes of having to do other stuff? Why not? Right. For some reason, I'm always at a time right here, and I gotta wait 10 minutes while this fucking ghost just annoys the shit out of me. Okay, move well, back and forth. Yep, it's, it's really Edge and Zaki up here. Uh huh. Go over here. This fucking Frankenstein thing. Grab my power up. Go past you again. Here. All right, that's my thing. Over uh, here. Go down there. What's the great thing is, is when I replay this, I obviously don't want to fight all the fucking enemies again because I'm done. But since I don't fight the enemies, that means that I don't get XP. So I'm going to be extremely under level for later in the game. So I'm going to keep dying. It's going to be causing the same problems keep happening again and again and again. Really, really starting to remember why I stopped playing this game. Uh, uh, kill you. Can I jump up here, please? And, uh, I'll get back to the topic I was talking about eventually. I'd like to actually make some fucking progress in the game. And that is not a novel idea. Fucking 15 minutes into this, and I've made no progress because I keep dying. I'm quite tempted to just, I don't know, play this for as long as I can today to just fucking get it out of the way. Maybe I'll be almost done with this game by the end of this. I have to think about it anymore. And then after I beat this game, I need to find some other total game to play because the only other things I'm playing right now are Left 4 Dead 2, which is. Sort of total, but not really, other than the fact that Sunny Milk is getting friends from there. And then Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2, which I haven't had to cancel so far because the second episode was a fucking mess. Yeah, let's just twiddle our thumbs for 15 seconds. Um, yeah, the second episode of Garden Warfare 2 was a mess, but the third one seems to have recorded fine, so hopefully I don't need to just cancel that series due to the recording. I'm really not fucking liking the game. I did this with Team Fortress 2 once, too. 
It's like really inconsistent every now and then. You just get a really shit record that you can too. Alright, the room. It fucking sucks. Oh, it's not dead yet, because why would... Yeah, just make the enemies take multiple... Uh, time stops to kill when there are like, ten of them. Why not? Huh? Yep. Uh... Wow, it died. Fucked. Man, I think this game would just be a better game if these ghosts didn't exist, because it's like, oh, I need to fight these knights over here, but also these ghosts are just, just here to annoy the fuck out of me. Come here. Yeah, it was a really popular game. Probably gonna piss someone off by being so clearly angry at it, but you know, not the game's fault. I'm fucking terrible at this game, and you know, why the game pause? Oh, it's not a Gee, thanks, Atari. Could have used that in the last room. Not gonna lie. Hey, we meet again, Hubus. Atari again. You're always working hard to collect jewels. I've been wondering for a while, but what do you plan on doing with all those jewels? Gonna be use it to make a new video game series called The Jewel. It's gonna be a hit. Those jewels are crystallized MP. Possessing them will improve your powers. Huh? Wait a second. That's the first I've heard of that. Ah, what? Really? Maybe I forgot to tell you. You can check what kind of power a jewel has on the shopping screen. I see. But if having the jewels improves my power, isn't it better not to sell them? No, it's better to sell them and buy items. It only improves your powers a little. I think you just want to do business. But no, you're wrong. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you sell me lots of jewels. Bye. You know, Notori, you having like a giant cap to the top of your neck probably isn't probably isn't great. It's made of metal. Oh, is it? Doesn't look like it. Very realistic, cloth-looking metal. Okay. I'm losing it here. Going to fucking save point. Isn't that great? If I would have made it past that room one time, I could have saved the entire episode of progress. That's great. Anyway, there's only like not to like talk about fan fiction because I guess that's what I was talking about, right? Um. So the first fanfiction I remember reading, I actually remember stuff from. Um, the basic premise of this story was, um, it's from the perspective of, of one of Alice's dolls, right? And the whole was the thing about Alice is she wants to make, like, a sentient, a fully sentient doll, or whatever that's, like, part of her character. That's, um, never going to be realized because Alice doesn't exist as a character anymore because she's dead. Or in a coma or whatever. But that was a thing with her character once. She wanted to create like a living doll. Great, there's two ways to go. Which way do I go? Um, since the other part's on the edge of the map, I'm going to assume over on the right is the option pathway. Yeah, fuck all of you. Oh, this is just an item. A thousand daggers! Throw a thousand knives! It's just a knife. It's basically, in this story, from the perspective of, like, a, like a doll, that's, like, slowly starting to gain sentience, and it's, like, it's, like, neat, because... He first starts out, like, talking and thinking, like, a, like, one of Alice's automated dolls, and then slowly starts to gain sentience and stuff. I remember, like, the first... How do I... I have to slow down time for this, right? Well, nice to know that those things don't crush Saki if I go under it. It's, it's just nice to just stop where it is. Isn't that nice? Like, I think the first... Oh, great. The first, like, sign that she's trying to gain sentience is when I lose a billion HP right there. Well, ain't this annoying? Now I gotta wait for it to go back again. 
Go back. Oh, because Pocket Ghost hit me. Man, I'm already one half dead. Which means basically I get hit once and I'm dead again. Alright. Oh, yep, the bull's out of the way. Isn't it funny? It looks so funny. This is probably not the best game to try to have this conversation in, but it's. I'm trying Dark Rock Duel Warrior and it's the total game, so it's probably more proper Dark Rock this than, like, fucking Plants vs. Zombies or something. Oh, so many enemies! Yes! So many enemies that can kill me in one hit with the fucking bubbles, but I'm already this close to dying. Myrtle. Uh huh. Yeah, wow. It just looks like shit everywhere I go. Ah. Where am I going? I'm going to assume going off is the optional path. Here. Like the first thing you can tell from the doll, like gaining sentience, she like she notices that Alice is Alice likes getting her slippers in the morning, right? said something she tells the dolls to do, and one time the doll's like, you know, Alice always asks us to do this, so why don't I just go out of my way to do that for her before she asks me to. So she does that, and then basically it builds up from there, this doll doing a bunch of stuff that then Alice notices as weird, like she's not supposed to be doing this because I didn't tell her to do this, and eventually Alice has realized, so wait, this doll is like sentient. And then she has like a good cry about it. Because you know she's happy. And then I don't really remember much from there, but basically she adopts the doll as her daughter and names it like Summer or something. And then that was the I, I don't remember the majority of the story, but that was basically the gist of it. You know, it was a, it was a nice happy green time. I think it was also like an analysis next to Marissa fanfiction, but that wasn't really the point of it, that was just kind of a thing that was there. Fuck you! God damn it! I just want to get to the fucking room! What? This is, um... This is definitely not where I'm supposed to go, but there might be a save point here. Save point? No, it's just a fucking door. I'm about to die! You know how I'm about to, like, die? And if I die, I get fucked. I have to do everything I did for the past 15 minutes, again, in that fucking pool. This, this, the block button. This button, this is the fucking league. Of course, of course, to that type of ghost. Why would you do it? So, these ghosts, they can just move during time stop. Where's the same point? I'm not doing that again. Where the fuck's the same point? Um, down, down to the right. To go through all this without getting hit. And if I don't, then I have to do everything again. Come here. Slowly waiting for the fucker to come here. And, uh, If I just made this like a fucking two hour long episode just so I could get this over with. Magic so yeah, that was, the, that was the first story I remember. It was, it was a nice, you know, feel good story about Alice getting a daughter. Quite nice. I don't really remember any of the details of it though. No idea what it was called, but you know, that's, that's good enough for me to remember it. Which cannot be said for any of the other ones. You know, I remember the first one, it was a nice, you know, feel-good story. And this other story I remember... I, I, admit, I remember it uh, kind of being batshit insane. Again, I don't remember what this other story was called. But the basic premise of... what was the map button again? Great, it's down here. Can I please get to a total... edit? What do you mean, edit? Oh, of course. I guess they used the word edit because that's four words and that's all they can fit. Just, just, 
let me get to this fucking room without dying. Okay, right, going right here. Save. Now kill me, Jackass, I don't care. Or don't, no. or like when I'm trying to get hit, just miss me. Eh? That, that area? Yeah, it's the purple area, isn't it? I have to go right. Go all the way left and then right. So yeah, this other fanfiction I read, uh, the basic synopsis was it, of it was... And I think I've, this, is, this fanfiction is probably the reason why I think I've brought this up like a couple times before. Like, like if there was like, if like a bad ending in Toho actually showed like... What the? Ugh! I fucking hate this enemy. Oh, you're out of time, so die because the enemy's so fucking fast. Ammo? Ammo? Not it. And I think my main idea of talking about that came from this story. So the basic plot synopsis of the story is this: um, it's like an alternate timeline of Toe Eleven, where basically Oku beats Reimu, and Reimu dies. Oh, oh. Yep. So now I get to stick here with my thumb up my ass for 10 seconds. And basically, yeah, so Oku, she beats Reimu, she kills Reimu, and then she goes and does her thing that she says she wants to do at the end of the game, which is turn Kinsokyo into a giant hellscape. So that's what she does, she goes and turns Kinsokyo uh, into an unlivable hellscape, and basically a fucking shit ton of people die. And the story is... Can I make this jump? Yep. The story is basically... Um, it's about, like, the, the residents of Gensokyo having to live in the outside world now that Gensokyo's destroyed. Yep. Uh-huh. You're just not worth it, are you? You're just not even remotely worth it. The thing is, these enemies have a shit ton of HP, and, you know, I, I lose MP when I attack things. It's just not worth it, are they? Anyway, this is the way it is. Go, right? And I, I remember this one story because some of the things that happened in whatever are kind of like just like really weird. So it takes place takes some um, the story is from the perspective of like multiple characters and it like switch perspectives every chapter or so. And the first chapter basically starts like this. It starts with um, the main the, the protagonist is Vermilla, Vermilia Scarlet. Except um she's blind. Because probably because staring at a nuclear explosion would do that to your eyes. Um, but yeah, she's she's blind and she now works as um, a member, like a detective, like a police detective for like um, the Tokyo Police or something. And she's kind of like uh, that one guy from from um, what's that game called? Hello. Aki, what the fuck do you want? That's a what that's Aki's voice. What's wrong? A powerful witch is waiting just beyond this point. It might be difficult with your power sealed, but don't give up. Don't worry, I can handle my power of time. You may not be able to stop time, but you can slow it down. If you use it well, you can win. Listen to what I say. I can already use my power to stop time. In fact, I, if I did not have that power, I would not be able to get here because of all the obstacles that require me to stop time to even get here at all. I wonder what's wrong. You don't need to thank me! This is all I can do! Oh? Oh, hello. Aku, what are you, why are you speaking so strangely? No particular reason! I was tired, so I was resting! Something is wrong. I wonder what happened. Stop Detroit Become Human, that's the game. So, you know, Vermilia, she's like the, the detective guy from that, you know, 58 stab with that guy. Um, I'll continue this when I'm done talking to Patchley. Akia, you came earlier than I thought. As I thought, Miss Patchley is here. How is it? Are you having fun? I guess, not really. Miss Patchley, did you create this world? 
It was Remy's usual request. If it doesn't exist, let's make it. The red and white shrine beta gets upset if we try anything in Tokyo, so we created a separate space. I guess since it's been so peaceful, Remy needed some excitement. Did she just like pick up a hobby like fishing or something? It's kind of getting ridiculous. Am I to blame for this? I feel like I'm failed as a parent. But if you if you would have said so from the start, I would have played along. It's no fun if we tell you. The element of surprise is what, is what makes it exciting. That may be true, but I have plans too. Remy's selfishness always pops up suddenly. You're right. Anyway, we're here, so we might as well have some fun. I, I don't mind, but is your health okay? There's nothing to worry about. Today is a good day. I will show you a bit of my true magic powers. Alright, Patchly Knowledge! Patchly Knowledge! Alright, done! Okay. So yeah, that's the, that's the first chapter. Play as Vermilla, she's the Vermilla Scarlet, who's a blind detective. I don't really remember what, what happened. That's like the that's like the book for the story. Is um, that's what Rubilia is doing in this timeline. Is now doing that. And then I don't remember the order of anything else. And all it's been like again. I read the story in like, like 2015, I think. So I don't remember the vast majority of anything that happened. But I do remember some like some like bullet points. So one thing that happened is um. You know, I was saying you like, you, like it follows a different character each time. There's this one. I remember one unique chapter where it followed a character, but it didn't like tell you who the character was. It was supposed to be a mystery. It basically, plays one the protagonist is like you know, one character. You can't tell who it is. It's like really depressed or something. And she's like, I think she's like having some sort of love plot that doesn't like go well or something. And I don't remember if this is explained at the end of this chapter, or if it's not revealed until later. But basically, this chapter happens, I don't remember how it ends. But then later on, it's a later, later chapter, Paul Patch Lee, because I think she was one of like, the most reoccurring main characters in this. And Patch Lee was going on like a research run through um, that, one, that one forest in Japan that's like notorious for being a hotspot suicides. And she goes there, and basically she finds a note. She finds, she finds, um, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? She finds, like, a girl that's killed herself, and she finds a note there that's addressed to Yuko, so it's basically revealed that the one character that was the main protagonist that one chapter was, uh, Yomu, and Yomu basically killed herself because... I guess she would be with Yuyuko then. Kinda of dark and fucked up, but this was kind of a dark and fucked up story from what I remember. And then there was another another part I remember where it, it basically follows Sanai, where, you know, because all the Oku stuff happened because of Kanako, and Sanai figured that out, which basically made her realize that, like, her coming to Kinsokyo and stuff basically caused all that shit to happen. And that causes her to become like, basically just radically hate everything she once loved to the point where by the time you find her in the story, she's like going around like burning shrines and shit to the, to the ground. Which, you know, given the fact that I don't remember a single character from the past like total 11 being in the story, this might have been such an old story that both Pluto as a character that didn't even exist again, so I guess that's the thing. Um, I remember there was one. I remember, I think Koichi showed up at some point. I don't remember exactly what she did. And then um, it's a chapter that followed like the Aki sisters. Don't really remember what that. Was. And then yeah, the, the last thing I remember about this story is because of how like fucking what it was, is, um, basically, it talks about how Notori 
basically created like a super realistic VR version of Kinsokyo. So like the people who had to leave Kinsokyo could like relive it. And but for some reason, in order for this thing to work, you had to like inject she had to like inject herself with chemicals or something in order for the VR to work properly. And basically what happens is she becomes so addicted to going to this like VR in Tokyo place that she basically ODs on whatever the chemical thing yet she had to inject herself with and she dies. So yeah, that's that's basically what I remember from this fanfiction I read like eight years ago that I don't remember the name of. Uh, I don't know, I should probably pay attention to this fight now. Kinda like, just... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Occasionally stopping time when it seems like I need to. That was not a good place to stop time. Yeah, this fucker's hitbox is really weird, so I guess only the head of the dragon hits me. I guess is how that works. Actually, that's a nice. I ran into that. I'm not winning this fight. Oh! At least I actually made it to patch loop. So yeah, remember when I said that I made it to like the last world of this game before I stopped playing? Um, that's directly after this. So, um, I don't know how much longer we get to this game until we get to the point where I actually stop playing last time. At which point, it's not going to be blind because I've been a playthrough in the rest of this game, but I'm not going to play it. Man, actually, I just want to jump through your stuff, but it's, it's, it just didn't make any sense, you know? The water is completely still. How does Sakia touching some water that's completely still hurt her? I don't know, but it does. I guess this explains how I was only level 14 on my first save file, because I wasn't actually as far as the far into the game as I thought I was. When I said that I don't remember patching being difficult. Oh, there we go. Slowly walking this way. No, well, patchly, I couldn't dodge that. Leaves, eh? It's just, it's just leaves. You're just gonna leave leaves right there. Oh, they don't move until that. Yes. So yeah, let me get this straight. Patchley thinks that Sakia shouldn't have her time powers right now. But she's hitting me with an attack that can only work if I use my time powers. Okay, sure game. Not even, not even able to, like, can't really measure their sprites right now because how far they're away from they are from each other. Patchley's, like, sitting down earlier. How much shorter do you think Patchley is? Sakia. I don't know if this is still, like, even remotely canon, but I remember, apparently, someone, like, said something in relation to character heights, like, a really long time ago, it basically went, like, um, the tall characters are Sakia and Melee, and the short characters are Marissa, Patchley, and Yoma. I just let that come at me, didn't I? Actually, it's nowhere near dead, is she? Oh, oh, there's another one. All of them steam spells, despite the fact that they drilled the spells. I think Quakma's doing right now. I think Quakma just woke up, Patch is not here, and I'm just very worried. It's a wall of fire coming at me, and there's nothing I can do to dodge it. Yep. That time, it's Silent Sinner. Sakia fought some. Yuri eBay and she used her magic she used her time stop power once. And then Yuri eBay immediately knew how it worked and how to counter it just at a glance. Wasn't that so cool? It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Once upon a time, I was on the internet. I already gave this joke enough. Um, I just can't really talk right now. Yeah, I thought this fight would be easier than this. 
probably isn't that hard. I'm just not farming very well. I just ran into that. Yep, I just ran into that. How could I run into it like that? Well, you see, sometimes you make mistakes. And in my case, I make them all the time. Fuck off, leaves. You know, Patchley, I don't really appreciate how you're in the fucking air all the time, making it to where I can't hit you. I like when Larissa was in front of my face the whole time, so I just wail on her. Not really allowing the same kind of thing here. Uh huh. Yep. Once again, I can't knock that. I guess some, some like knife wall jumping shenanigans. I don't know, if I'm this close to the end of the game, I'm because the next area is final, I might just say fuck it and play this game until it's over. If I even get that far, I might rank my Twitch before that. Uh, I'm gonna have to play. I mean, I kinda wanted to make another cover today, but I don't know. I made one yesterday, I'm, I'm working on those total 11 covers. Made it to, um, I did Parsi's theme yesterday. Did you know Parsi's theme? Who the fuck is thinking about Parsi's theme? It's basically, like, literally the exact same thing twice, and then it loops again. It's like, there's, uh, there's like some, there's like change, some changes in the instrumentation a bit, but when you're doing a cover like I do, it's not really, you can't really tell. It's basically, like, I, I played it twice, just so there's a slight difference in how I played it, but it's literally just like, Minute, no, like a minute and a half or so of Parsi Steam is literally just like the same two things over and over again, so it's really easy to learn those. Uh, man, Patchley, you are just making your sweet ass fucking time die, aren't you? So, that's all the what patchily as a type of plant. Wanna hear patchily um be used to make like incense or something that smells like really strong. Apparently, it's so strong that, um, like, stoners use it to hide the smell of their weed. As your, as your fact. It may or may not be bullshit. I'm about to die again. I'm at this level is 45 minutes. Fucking wall again! I can't do anything, actually! What are you looking to do? I mean, hour long. We uh, for an hour. I basically made it to the point where I was last time. Maybe I call it here. Maybe I beat Patchley and be like, that's the end of the series. I've got like the Undyne Spears. You could say that she's Princess Undyne. Boss fight is giving me. Um, fucking, it's reminding me of those boss fights from Scarlet Curiosity. It's like, go on for fucking ever, and then you just die, and then you have to do it all over again. The HP bar. You know it's Patchley. She has the stripes. That is legit. No, Patchley? If you look at her EOSD LARP, it looks like she has stripes. By literally everyone that looks at it, if you look at it, you're like, yep, that looks like stripes. But actually, no. According to Sun, those aren't supposed to be stripes, somehow. But, it doesn't really matter because now the stripes have been used in official art in the fighting game, so now it is an official design choice. Patchley, why do you just not die, huh? Why, you, why do you have so much fucking health, huh? You really need that much health? Isn't your whole point supposed to be that you're sickly and weak and shit? Why are you, why are you 
That's so much health, huh? Saki was all worried about you earlier, and you should worry worried about herself! All them Princess Undyne Spears. Undyne was not a princess. She was a fish. I do notice that the... I guess, now that I look at it, the, the books prompt what she's gonna throw at you next. So there's that, I guess. I don't know, it's like the fight itself is not that hard, but because it lasts so long, it's fast and barely takes some damage because I barely hit her, I just I make enough fuck ups that I just die before I can kill her. Maybe I just got lucky. Maybe, probably, I was just better at this game than last time. Probably the real answer. Yeah. But, uh, Bobby Ba. Wait a minute. Um, this might be a bitch move, actually, but I'm going to throw chainsaws at you. Hope you don't mind. There you go. We like chainsaws. I didn't think that it would hit me at that angle. Yes. Chainsaws. Well done. How about this, Patchley Place? Fucking thing in the corner I couldn't see. Uh. You know, there's only two buttons for me to use, despite that fact I'm like confusing. I'm still confusing the two. Oh yeah. The fucking button! Uh, some, um, Ashley, what the fuck's happening? Ashley, what the fuck is happening? I'm gonna be here forever. I'm actually going to be here forever. Like, she has that much fucking health left, and I am dead. Now I have long episode. Wow, I've had so much shit was accomplished in this episode. Yep, uh -huh. Be it. It's gonna be the end of the series right here. Actually, knowledge. Actually, has parents. It's a weird thing about Toho lore. It's like they're based on yokai and shit. And yokai, they just like pop out of existence from like human leaves or whatever. But some of them also have parents. The yokai could have children, so it's like not clear which characters have parents and which characters were just popped out of the fucking sky one day. I mean, the Scarlets have parents because there's like two of them. Would make sense for them to be sisters. They didn't. They were like the Zakumos or something, and they just show up one day. Let's think of this vampires, because, like, this is a weird thing. We're told, like, use this together in Japanese and in Western folklore. It's like, like the vampires are yokai, but also, like, you know, fucking vampires, where they, they exist because people bite, because vampire bite and turn for vampire, yes. So, Scarlet's born vampires, or where they fit and turn into vampires. I don't know, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm no expert on vampire mythology, but I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if it's consistent whether you can even be born a vampire or not, depending on the, the um, interpretation. Yeah, is it most, like, vampire lore based on, like, Dracula and shit? So, 
whatever's written in there. This boss fight goes on too long. Actually, why do you do these things to me? Aren't I your friend? Not my friend, Sakuya, you're my cat. But still doing this, Patchouli? Like, the joke's kinda old. You stop calling me a cat now. It's, it's not a joke, Sakuya. I legitimately cannot tell the difference between humans and, and cats. They literally look the exact same to me. Actually, what does that even mean? I mean, I mean you. You look like a giant little furry creature with a tail. What do you mean that's what I look like to you? That's what you look like to me. Actually, what, huh, is something, like, seriously wrong with you? Maybe. Or maybe, because maybe I'm the one who sees how the world really is. Because I'm passionate knowledge. I have all the knowledge in the world. And, uh, I have no MP. I like keep confusing the fucking buttons. It's A. Why am I. Like, like this didn't happen in a previous part. I think it was like brain dead. Is this one. It's a waste of time. It's like a waste of fucking time. Now, back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. There we are. The gravity's gone. We're gonna move the gravity. I didn't do anything for gravity, actually. The other one's flying. I'm the one following. Physics here. It's not physics breaking, it's called magic, Sakio. We literally know it all time. Yeah, Superintendent Patchley. I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. That's not the first line. The first line is... No. Well, Sophia, I made it. Despite all the records. I'm not doing this in a bit. Why is this fight so fucking long? <laughs> Actually, are these, are these spell cards? That was happening here, I was still following thing. I mean, yeah, I'm just like firing like to go. But what's that yet? We're just in a weird perspective here. Actually, why is it that you get to fly and I don't? Well, Sakuya, it's all part of the part of the game. See Vermilia is a big fan of Castle Beach. Because it's got Dracula in it, so she was like, I want Edward to make something that's like Castlevania's Patchouli. I need you to make the Castlevania game. Stupid fucking leaves are still there. But you gotta make, you gotta make Sakia the main protagonist, because she's Simon Belmont. Feel my brain deteriorating more and more. It's actually going to be an hour long episode. I found water. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. I mean that literally, I need the knowledge by a power. Akia, when this flight is over, I need you to do something for me. Well, 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 what would that be, actually? I need you to find a damn full of chaos. But the fuck is a chaos in those things that will farm up to like that one. <laughs> I'm in the corner again. 
fuck. Right, I, I can throw... I need to, like... Can I go back to Marissa? Say so, yeah, it's never possible right after this isn't gonna be worse. Oh, oh. oh. Well done. Fatality. Which toe characters do you think would have the most brutal fatalities? I'm sure, I'm sure someone's animated something like that. Ah! Getting the time stop button. Get out of my way, please. Why do you mean that, fist? Oh, you can jump on these. Except when I can't? The fuck? I'm gonna label this episode some like pain. I'm just gonna close the episode like pain. This is, this is shit, man. Um. Oh my fucking god, finally. Oh, oh. Look, my asthma. When I least late it. I'm sorry, without thinking, I went all out. Cough, cough. D don't apologize, it was fun. I'm surprised you could use your powers, though. We should have sealed them. Did you break the seal by force? This is thanks to a gadget-loving Kappa. Personally, I don't like depending on tools, but... Remy left quite a useful character for you. No, that's not it. My intuition was right. I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain. But to use gadgets, which is pretty smart too. He's magically? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, you won, so you can move on. Will I be able to see Lady Ramelia soon? Yes, she's waiting at the clock tower just past here. Since it's Remy we're talking about, I'm sure she's itching to play with you. After Miss Batchelly, I can't let the Lady Ramelia wait. Well, Miss Batchelly, please go home and rest. Yes, I will head back to the Scarlet Devil Mansion first. The real one. As I thought, it was Miss Patchley who created this world. Next is a Lady Rebellia at last. I must hurry to Lady Rebellia to escape the world as soon as possible. In this world, where life is strong, yes. I'll get off the green doors! I can open the floor and get on the door. Kill like like dinosaur no more walk the can't no more
happens if in, in the next part of Blue Knights, if there is one, I guess we'll start the part of the game that I stopped at last time and see if I can actually make it past it this time. Who knows? See you then. Bye!